And good evening, everyone. You're listening to another episode brought to you by your host, Smoke on Reviews. And I hope you all had a wonderful and filling, of course, Thanksgiving. I know I did. Yum, yum, yum. Anyway, uh, the topic of today's video will be the Q&A video number two that I promised you all that I would get out to you. So here goes nothing. Oh, and the questions for this video were submitted by two of my subscribers. They love me. <laughs> Uh, two of my subscribers, which are, uh, Troll Arc and Pathetic, Pathetic Addict. It's a tongue twister. Try saying that three times fast. <laughs> uh, anyway, they were submitted by, uh, Troll Arc and Pathetic Addict. Yes, I gotta write this down. Okay, so, uh, here goes nothing. This is Q&A video number two. Let's begin with, uh, the question submitted by Troll Arc first. Uh, some of the... Uh, one or two of the questions are a little bit too personal at the moment, so, and so I'm not going to answer those questions, but, and I'll just pick a few to answer. Did you ever smoke when you were a kid? Um, no, although I remember when I was young, I used to uh, take a straw, and I used to pretend that I was smoking with it, and my relatives would always be like, hey, why are you doing that? And I'd be like, I don't know. But I've always had a fascination with tobacco, and I think that's where it started when I was a kid, when I used to smoke with a straw. <laughs> so anyway, the answer to your question is no. I did not smoke when I was a kid, although my brother did. And, he, and he's and he been smoking a, a, a great deal longer than I have. And, and I don't remember which age, which age he started at, but I know he was in... I know he's been smoking a, a, a great deal longer than me. My brain is fried. I just got done, or I finished a paper, eight-page research paper for my comm class, <laughs> like a few hours ago. So my brain is a little bit um, fried. <laughs> anyway, um, let's continue now. What is your all-time favorite menthol cigarette? Ooh... Mob the Smooth. A close second behind that would have to be uh, uh, Newport Menthol 100s. Those are awesome cigarettes, although the Marble Menthol Smooth kind of wins out because it has a smoother taste and it's more... S How do I describe this? Uh, it's a little bit more gent gentle, I would say. It's more gentle, it has more flavor to it, and it's just overall a better menthol. <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> overall a better menthol cigarette than Newports. But Newports, they come in in a, a close, very, very close. They're like this much with uh, with uh, Marlboro, Red, Marlboro Smooth 100s right here and Newports just right there. The Marlboro barely edges out the Newports. But great question, though. Um, if you had to smoke one, would you rather smoke Marlboro Menthol Gold or Newport 100s? Um... Let's see. Although Newports are a good cigarette, um, they're a little bit too harsh. Uh, like, I remember the first time I smoked a Newport 100, I I coughed a lot because the menthol in those things is so strong. It's overpowering even. Uh, but, okay, if I was to smoke one cigarette, one menthol cigarette, between Marble Menthol Gold or Newport 100s, it would have to be Marble Menthol Gold. Those things are awesome. And I thank you to Troll Arc, who uh, suggested I do the review for those. Thank you so much. Oh, and if oh, and this is directly to him. If you have any more reviews suggested for me to do, please let me know. And that goes for anyone else of my subscribers watching this video. If you guys have any other cigarettes that you would like me to review, Please let me know, because I have another because I have other stuff planned. But if you want to uh, have me do some other stuff too, I'll be glad to do it. Uh, let's see. Who and what encouraged you to do cigarette reviews? Um. Okay. Before I got into making cigarette reviews, I had been watching uh, cigarette reviews on YouTube by this guy named Real Cig Review, and his name was Dan. Actually, he, I think he inspired me kind of to get into the, get into this, uh, hobby. 
because he was doing it, and I was like, hmm, that sounds interesting. And uh, I'm glad I got into the idea. I'm glad I got into making uh, cigarette reviews. And so to answer your question, it was Real Cigarette Review who inspired me to uh, make cigarette reviews myself. Oh, and make sure you check out his channel. I know he's not doing reviews anymore, but still check out his channel. He's, he's got a lot of great stuff. And I pay all much to him for everything that he did for, uh, for cigarette reviews in general. Um, what is the worst cigarette you've ever had in the world? Ooh. Timeless Time Red 100s. Those things, when I first had one, were gosh darn awful. They're so strong. They're, uh, things they have like a massive throw hit. But I will do a review on those sometime coming up. They're cheap, too. They're cheap as shit. So <laughs> I'll probably do a review on those coming up in the near future or something. So you might see a review on my most hated cigarette. Timeless Time uh, 100s. Red 100s. <clears throat> uh, but that, but Timeless Times are my worst cigarette ever. Uh... What is my favorite band? Um, Coldplay and Maroon 5. Those are my two favorite bands. They have great music. Uh, let's see. Do I play guitar? No, sadly. Um, would I rather in 40 cartons of cigarettes or wake up in a mansion? I would rather... Ooh, I'll get the, I'll get the cigarettes, honestly. Because it's my habit. I need to feed my habit. Although the Lambo and the, and the Ferrari would be awesome. Um, would I rather be a famous YouTuber or be a new, or be in the new Star Wars movie? I would rather be a famous YouTuber, although I'm not really, uh, I'm not, I'm not really in it to be a famous YouTuber. That's not my objective here. My objective is just simply to tell you guys what cigarettes I like and to make suggestions to you about what cigarettes you, you might like to like, or you might like to consider. That's just my main objective in doing these reviews and doing this in general is to just to teach you guys and and uh, well not guide you but just help you uh, make the right choice for cigarettes. Um, and yes, it's okay that you made the post a little bit long. Um, and here are some questions by Pathetic Addict. Um, do I think uh, 100 cigarettes are cons considered effeminate? No, I do not. Uh, some people might, but my personal opinion is it's your body, and if you want to smoke uh, a uh, an eff a 100 cigarette, then go for it. I don't care if you're a boy or a girl. It doesn't matter. It's a cigarette. It's a thing that you put in your mouth that's not so, oh, I know. Uh, it's a it's just a nicotine delivery system. That's all it is. Now, an example of a feminine cigarette would be uh, Capri or <coughs> Virginia Slims. The like of those. Those are considered effeminate, even here in the U.S. And hello to the subscriber in the Netherlands. How are you guys doing over there? It's way colder over there than it is here. <laughs> anyway, uh, great question, though. Um... Have I ever smoked in a place where smoking was not allowed? Um, no, I have not. I've smoked in my room before, if that counts, but I haven't really, 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 really smoked in a place that where smoking wasn't allowed. I don't know why. I'm just, I'm just not that kind of smoker. I don't like to force my habit onto other people. Uh, <laughs> and so anyway, those are some of the questions submitted for the Q&A video number two. And this has been the Q&A video number two. And great questions. I skipped a few of them because I didn't want to make this video too long and because some of them were a little bit too personal. Uh, but great questions overall. And, and I want to say welcome. I want to extend a personal welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. You won't regret it. I have a bunch of new stuff coming up. So stay tuned for that. This has been the Q&A video number two. And I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And of course, happy holidays.